Hi there, Victoria. How are you doing today? I am wonderful, Andrew. How are you? And thank you for having me today. I'm doing well. Yes, thank you. Of course. So uh, if you could just introduce yourself for us, give us your name, your title, a short bio about yourself, your credentials, and then state the title of the article you'll be talking about. Absolutely. So uh, again, thank you for having me. Um, very honored. So I'm Dr. Victoria Bardwaj, uh, Assistant Program Manager for the Medical University of South Carolina Health Systems Care Transitions Management Department. Uh, it focuses on readmission reduction and improving outcomes for high-risk patient populations. I'm also a co-chair for Enterprise Readmission Reduction Sustainability Operations. My background as a nurse is in cardiovascular disease, CV surgery, cardiac uh, intensive care, population health, and nursing informatics. Uh, I hold a Doctor of Nursing Practice degree with an emphasis on leadership and a Master's degree in Nursing Informatics. And the article we'll be discussing today is Risk Stratification of CVD in Type 2 Diabetes. Fantastic. So if you don't mind, could you just briefly give us an overview of why nurses should read your article? Sure. So the article itself highlights the absolute benefits of nursing collaboration in healthcare. Uh, the project that was associated with the article and those outcomes within the article supported a firm understanding of the needs of nurses and nursing leaders to help drive patient outcome improvements within interprofessional care team approaches. So the project provided evidence that partnerships among nurses and providers during patient clinic um, visits improved patient education opportunities, which um, in turn helped to increase self-care management by using the visible ASCVD risk score results uh, that the article discusses. It also demonstrated nursing's deep involvement within informatics and the ne uh, necessity for the field of nursing to continue leading quality improvement initiatives for further growth of informatics and improved quality of care, uh, and as well as increase the use of EMR tools in a multidisciplinary setting. Fantastic. So what made you specifically want to write an article on this topic? Well, the article is actually a, a, a brief manuscript of my Doctor of Nursing Practice project final paper, um, which I'm sure ANA did not want to print 79 pages of a paper. Um, during my nursing career, I've noted over the years many type 2 diabetics were eventually diagnosed with cardiovascular disease and sometimes much too late where early diagnosis could have improved educational opportunities, treatment choices, and the patient outcomes. And as an informaticist, I'm always looking for ways to help improve the lives of our patients through embedded EMR tools. Um, we know the evidence of use of predictive modeling for CVD risk in academic literature has proven that it could be addressed in a much quicker and more streamlined approach. Um, in addition, nurse and provider teamwork with patients related to improved medical support and individualized lifestyle and treatment changes helped decrease costs for healthcare systems and patients. The bottom line was that I wanted to showcase the benefits of utilizing nursing and provider collaborative efforts, along of course with nursing informatics and predictive modeling that can help improve the lives of adult type 2 diabetics. That's great. And with such a fantastic article, there's obviously so much Thank that you. people can take away from this. But if you had to zero in on two to three things that you'd like nurses to take away from your article, what would What I'd like nurses to take away from this article. Um, first, the article supports the need for nurses to continue to be involved in a patient's care throughout the continuum. And that patient advocacy is an area where nurses have historically excelled and have a higher understanding of the needs of the patient. Um, often patients depend on nurses to be their voice and lead the interdisciplinary care team in improved but respectful care which lends to better outcomes and reduction of future risk of morbidity and mortality. Um, the final sentence of the article actually states that in addition to reducing long-term risks and increasing hospital reimbursements, ongoing nursing collaboration does align with worldwide initiatives and recommendations that have continued and will continue to improve the health of individuals and populations. So I think there's quite a bit that I would hope that nurses could take away from the article. Um, the, the, I think the largest, the biggest picture for nursing is how important uh, the nursing collaboration with providers and even um, not just providers but other clinicians as well um, does help when they drive those initiatives and those collaborations does help to, uh, and has proven to help patient outcomes. Awesome. Well, Victoria, thank you so much for sitting down and talking to us a little bit about this today. We really appreciate it, and thank you again for writing such a fantastic article. Well, thank you for having me, and I appreciate the kind words. Thank you. Of course. Have a fantastic day. All right. You too. Bye-bye.